So only a short video today, but I really did want to show you these apple and plum maggot monitoring traps because we do get a lot of people that come in and when they've got their plums on their trees, they end up with the little maggots inside and it's really horrible. You don't want to bite into them. So we do these little monitoring traps, which uh, actually catch the male moth and then it will tell you whether you've got very many moths on your tree. So I'll show you how to do them. You just literally, they're quite easy. You open them up and hang them into your tree. So this one, I've opened it. Take the packaging off. And you've got just a little triangle piece of corex there, which you open out like that. And inside you also have a sticky trap, which you then lay into your the bottom base. just like that and then inside the packet this little packet is a little uh, thing that imitates the female moth so the male comes in there to get her so you just stick that inside on your sticky bit just like that and then the edges of this just literally fold up Curl those in and fold that up so that that doesn't fall out. So there you've got your little lure for your male moth there. And then you can hang this on. It's like a little hanger for an, on your tree. And then you can just hang that into your tree. Now there is this, uh, this is the plum one. And the plum one obviously is a different to the apple one. You will have to have one of each if you've got both fruit trees because it's got a different thing inside that lures the male moths. I also wanted to show you uh, the box moth trap. A lot of people had trouble with the box moth caterpillar last year. It absolutely desecrates your plants. So we've got these um, moth traps which work in a similar way that will monitor whether you've got very many moths as well. So you build that up as per the instructions on the box and you put a little bit of water in it and then that will lure it's got a little lure in there just similar to what's in those that lures the male moth into there and then he falls into the water but it will capture some of the male moths and stop them breeding so much and then you hang that into your tree but it also tells you if you've got a lot of moths in there you really need to spray your trees this is the same if you get a lot of moths, it will tell you that you've got, you are going to end up with caterpillars in your plums if you're not careful. So you would have to spray it with a suitable insecticide. Uh, we like to sort of try and be organic, obviously, especially with fruit. So there we are. There we have the moth traps. So come with me and we'll go and put them in the tree. Of course, don't forget to remember which one's your apple and which one's your plum.